Hello, it's Chris Brooks and welcome to the channel. Right, my thought of the day is this. A friend of mine, Gary Conway, sent me, or well, sent our group, this link to Town Hall Rich List 2024 sign the petition. And I think you're going to want to sign this petition. As households across the country face tax hikes and cost of living crisis, our Town Hall Rich List has revealed 3,106 council bosses received more than 100,000 in total remuneration in 2022-2023 and we're calling on the authorities to offer value for money and stop council tax hikes. Or just stop paying your council tax, but you didn't hear that from me. Let's take a look at this, shall we? Now obviously I've typed in Norfolk because Norfolk is where I live. So we've got local authority, Broadland, name, undisclosed, job title, managing director, 199,609 pounds. Below that we have another one for Broadland, undisclosed, director, 101,233 pounds. And down here in, at Kings Lynn in West Norfolk, or and West Norfolk, sorry, we have Norfolk Tom Macab, Macabe, or however you pronounce it. He's now, if you watch my channel, he's on one of the live streams for the emergency meeting we had here in Thetford last year, early last year. Executive Director of Community and Environmental Services, Head of Paid Service, a whopping. £207,100. Norfolk S. Tuff, Executive Director of Children's Services, 189900 Why not just round it off to 190000 to be done with it? Norfolk J. Bullion, quite an apt name, spelt different I know. Executive Director of Adult Social Services, 180 £1,000. S. George, Executive Director of Finance and Commercial Services, £181,000. P. Cracknell, Executive Director of Strategy and Transformation, £165,900. Undisclosed, Director of Public Health, £153,200. Undisclosed, Undisclosed, £137,500. My goodness, do you see what I mean? This is why our council taxes are always on the rise because, well, they're just taking the mickey, aren't they? Right, shall we type in somewhere else? Shall we type in, I don't know, let's let's go London. That's bound to be a hoot. City of London, Police Commissioner, £302,000. And that's A. McLaren. N. Collier, Managing Director, ING, Brussels Office, £278,000. City of London, C. Spencer, Managing Director, Barbican Centre, £228,000. It just goes on and on. So they say that there's no money in the pot. There clearly is, isn't there? And let's have a quick look at Suffolk as well while we're at it. East Suffolk, under, well, they're all undisclosed names, but the chief executive is at £160,309. The strategic director is at £143,250. Again, it repeats. I assume that just must be the same person, but maybe not. Chief finance officer and the S151 officer, £128,700. 27 head of digital and program management 121,445 planning head of planning and coastal management 121,118 head of economic development and re regeneration 115,500 head of legal and democratic services 111,412 pounds head of operations same Head of Environmental Services and Port Health, 110,613. 
So there you have it. They clearly think less of people in Suffolk than they do in Norfolk when it comes to officials, but that is still an incredibly high wage. And you think how many years that is of council tax or how many people paying council tax, just one wage covers. No wonder there's so much corruption in the councils when we're talking about these kind of salaries. As far as I'm concerned, it shouldn't, they shouldn't be anywhere near that. Nowhere near that, because that's when you get corrupted, in my humble opinion. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Have a good Monday, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.